Hey guys, this is Chris from Black Flag Barbell Club. Today we're going to talk about one aspect of programming that sometimes gets a little bit lost in the murky waters. Um, so programming can be as complex or as simple as you want. Uh, some people just have a real basic program like a linear progression or you know, today is some kind of squat, some kind of push, some kind of row, carry, and that's all they need. They'll sort of move from that to the other stuff and they'll, they'll progress it up here. Uh, whereas you can go the complete opposite direction and have super, super complex, like micromanaged programming. Uh, and depending on the level of the athlete, you know, the more advanced you get, the more those little details matter. Uh, so someone who you know, is competing internationally uh, for powerlifting or for you know, any kind of sport really, uh, will need really, really detailed programming, taking into account volume, recovery, all that sort of stuff. Uh, whereas for most of us, we can get by with a, a pretty general sort of look at things uh, and you kind of learn what works for you and what doesn't. But what I want to talk about today is, number one, do you have a program that is aimed at your goals? So you know, if I want to increase my bench press, is my program going to help me do that? Or am I sort of barking up the wrong tree? Uh, and number two, do you enjoy it? Because for the vast, vast majority of us, training is... You know, it's not providing us any money, we're probably not going to get any records, you know, it's something we enjoy doing, we might have physical goals, fitness goals, body weight goals, whatever, uh, but ultimately it's a means to an end uh, or something we just want to fill our time with. Uh, so, number one, does your programming point you in the direction of your goals? Uh, for me personally, my sort of focus this year is on the bench and the deadlift. Uh, as such, my squat has taken a bit of a back seat. Uh, I'm not doing any sort of straight bar squatting. I'm doing safety bar squats in order to build up the quads uh, for the purpose of helping my deadlift, uh, building the core for the purpose of helping my deadlift. Will that potentially help my squat when I get back into it good and proper? Maybe, uh, but that's fine because you know, it's not the focus at the moment. I wanna be building my deadlift and thus the squatting I'm doing is for that purpose. If I get to a point where squatting at all doesn't serve that purpose, which probably not, but if I do, then I will happily take the squats out because I want to build my deadlift this year. Uh, same with the bench, you know, I've increased the, the frequency, I'm doing all these variations, uh, I'm building the pecs, the triceps, all that kind of stuff because my goal is a bigger bench and a bigger deadlift. So I'm focusing on those two things. Um, outside of that, everything gets a little bit vague, you know, if I want to do some conditioning, as long as it doesn't detract from my bench or my deadlift training, that's fine. Uh, but you've got to keep the big picture in mind. So if your goal is to drop 10 kilos, then you're probably, you know, you're going to be fighting yourself if you're trying to drop 10 kilos and set a 20 kilo uh, total PR. Probably not going to happen. So, you know, if your program is designed to get you really peaked and, you know, hitting one rep maxes versus your actual goal of dropping 10 kilos, you, you got to figure out which one do you want to do. Now if we go to point two, enjoying your training. Uh, I would say this is probably the most fundamental part of programming because if you don't enjoy it at some basic level, you know, you don't have to come into the gym every, every day going, oh fuck yeah, I'm training. Uh, most of them you should be kind of you know, happy, not excited, but you, you should be looking forward to training, uh, even if you know it's going to be a, a really hard session. Uh, if you come into the gym and you're like, oh, I've got to do dumbbell bench, I've got to do you know, sets of 10 squats, blah, blah, blah. If it's a, an actual loathing, like if you're not enjoying it, then change it, in my opinion, uh, unless you are just nutting it up because in the long run it will help you get to the goal, uh, in which case just suck it up, stop being a, a little princess. Uh, but if you have a prolonged period where you just don't enjoy training, then you probably need to change something. Uh, there, there should be, as I said, at the, the base level, you should enjoy what you're doing. Um, so, you know, we've got people who we're trying to balance, they want to get stronger, but they've also got families. So we're trying to condense the training, whether or not we're succeeding a great deal, you'd have to ask them. Uh, I know a couple, we're still, you know, fine tuning, we've still got them in here too long, uh, but we're trying to balance the volume they need to progress with the fact that they don't want to be here super long because they want to be spending time with their kids. Um, so 
that comes back to the goals. Sometimes you might have competing goals. Some people will make it work. Uh, you, know, you do both. Uh, but most of the times there's got to be a compromise. So you might not progress as quickly because you're not doing as much volume, uh, but you'll get to spend more time with the family or whatever it may be. Uh, so yeah, make sure that your program is directed at your goals. Make sure you enjoy the program for the most part. There's always stuff that you don't like. I hate doing abs. I hate doing high reps, but I know they're good for me and I enjoy training, so you suck it up, you do it. Uh, if it's an actual I hate training at the moment, change it up, try something new. Try some strongman, gymnastics, crossfit, uh, you know, go do some different cardio conditioning, change it up, make it interesting, learn to love training again. Uh, it's always going to be here. It's a lifelong endeavor, so make sure you treat it that way. Don't burn out really quick. Okay? Uh, any questions, feel free to hit us up. Let us know how the quality of the video is. We're filming on a DSLR with microphone now, uh, so hopefully it's a nice little bump up in quality compared to the, uh, the iPhone videos. Take it easy.